So hold on. You mean to tell me Dai can go Super Saiyan? Dai has a hidden ability and he's binded to the majority of spells that are out there. The boy has talent for magic and he didn't know this until Ofima was in trouble. Well, Princess. Yo, I can't lie. I didn't expect Dai to even have a power up in episode 2. And I can't lie, the opening for Dragon Quest is actually one of those openings you have to listen to more than once to actually get into. Man, the episode was good. The episode was fun. It's just a shame that everybody who seems to come to the island has some ulterior agenda, like, you know, betraying other people or being a secret villain. I thought the only people that were bad was like the Dark Lord and monsters. But in this series, well, within episode one and two, it seems like the only good guys are the monsters and everyone on this island, which includes Diana's grandpa, as well as Gomechan. Yo, it's nice to see the characters that we've been introduced to from like the beginning and and the ending of the episodes, such as the guy in the green suit and the man with purple hair, but now also the princess Leona. Leona has apparently consists of her becoming a sage and she herself actually knows magic so I guess so I guess she's also kind of special too to be honest the kind of gist I'm kind of getting from this honestly is that if you know how to do magic you're one of the few people in the world that is quite, that is quite special talented if I should say but I'm not gonna lie hard work as well can beat talent if you put in the work now the princess of Leona also gave Dai a sword which basically can affect anything and everything with one slash it can cut through like the toughest skin of a scorpion and it seems very durable i don't know what exactly Dai is honestly although he does have some form of like symbol in his middle of his forehead that pops up when he goes super saiyan but from the way he moves and the way he behaves and just the whole storyline of it so far i feel like he's probably the son of the last hero that was known of that fought the dark lord i can't lie the whole the whole episode was actually very enjoyable like i can't fault the animation until today okay i had seen that 3d battle with the robot that varon was controlling i personally felt like that was not needed i don't know why that was involved i feel like it was just due to laziness that is why they didn't like kind of like hand draw it and make it into a proper animation the 3d really did throw me off i actually honestly didn't expect it but in all in all the episode was great I just don't want him to do that again. I hope when it comes to more more serious moments within this series, more action packed moments in this series is not 3D. I don't want to see stuff like that like in 3D. If that's the case, I'm going to have to watch the old series, series which was in like 1991. Do you get what I mean? Cuz that was just like no, that was just needed. It's nice to see that Dai is getting along and he's actually improved from the last time we've seen him i don't know what the aura means around him i don't know who he is or what he is exactly but we do know now that he's very special the earth god's confused with leona and we didn't get to see what the earth god did to her but i guess she's now basically blessed or has some form of secret ability with her too so obviously down the line if you have seen by like the ending credit dai is gonna join leona and and his new friend possibly in the sea of papnico or just honestly just go on a journey and i can't wait to see what happens for the rest of the series but yo, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, okay, subscribe, turn on notifications, and whether you're listening or watching this in the, in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, it's been your boy Roos or Missy36, and I'm out. Peace.